All right, so I've attached the uh, upper lip here, and I've used <clears throat> two 3 8 inch screws here to attach the nose to the center uh, main support. And then down below, on the back side, you can see that I've attached those two long arms to the outer holes of the lip mechanism with quarter inch screws. And you can see that if I bring it in, all right, it goes in, but if you turn the servos, it swings out. All right, so now that we've got that, I think it's time to attach the lips and we'll move on and attach those eyebrows and lastly the ears. So I'll see you in a second again. All right, the lips. You'll notice that the springs are two different lengths. Um, I like to use, there's a couple ways to do this and they give you slightly different effects. <clears throat> But I like to use the shorter one on the top, hook directly into these holes. So you just kind of stretch it out and put that in there. Now the longer one, sometimes it's kind of cool to just attach it to the shorter one, or you can go ahead and put it into the holes. I'm going to go ahead and just put it in the holes this time, uh, partly because it's just faster. And that goes like that. And there we go. All right. So now this is about ready. And then what I'm going to do is attach the long linkage here. And it means we're going to have to get this servo ready. So this servo, what I typically do is I use this um, X hub. And then I'll drill a single hole and tap it for 40 with either a tap or the self-tapping screw. And what we want to do is we want to get this guy in such a way that I'm going to bring it all the way up. What can happen is you don't want to have happen is the eyes to go so far up that that bends backwards. All right, So it can never be allowed to go beyond, say, this point, or it might click all the way back and then when it tries to lift up again it actually just jams it up against here. So we want to be at a point where when this linkage when this is servo is all the way down it never really gets the eye below some pivotal point. So something along the lines of I have the servo cranked all the way clockwise and I want it to be something like well, a little bit further maybe. Yeah, we could try that. Okay. I'll go ahead and screw this in and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I've got this hooked up. And see, when I crank it all the way back, it gets just about to the point where it's going to pop. And if it popped like that, that would be bad. It would jam if it tried to return. So we don't want that to actually happen. I push it there. So this is about where you want it to be. Because if I crank it up, the eyes will look down. And if I take it and bottom it out, it still doesn't pop. So it won't jam up on us. And then now the next thing is to go back to that piece we assembled at the very beginning the eyebrows and they're simply going to get attached like this with two uh, 5 8 inch screws that go all the way through on the top. Let me put this in a position where you can see it. Uh, so it's going to lose focus. I'll screw these in. It's going to go here on the frontmost set of screws. Okay, so we got the eyebrows nice and attached and you can see that they'll be able to change their expressions and of course the mouth is going to be able to open and close. So the last thing is just going to be the ears and let me set this guy momentarily aside and we'll get that assembly ready to go. Okay so for starters what we have to do is we have to mount the uh, servo support up here on top okay and that's quick and easy to do with just a couple of quarter inch screws. And actually, hold on, hold on, that's a lie. I shouldn't have said that. 
what we want to do first, because it's a lot easier to do now, is put the ears in and do that with three eighths inch screws. Okay, and let me go ahead and do that and then I'll be set and ready. Okay, so I've attached the two ears with three eighths inch screws and then I've attached the uh, upper servo support with two quarter inch screws. Of course, you could use longer ones if you, if you felt so inclined. Now last, this servo has to go in here with the, the hub up. It kind of has to roll in and you won't in any way be able to, well, I shouldn't say anyway, it would be really difficult to get the lower screw in. Okay, I actually don't worry about it. I'm just going to go ahead and put a single screw, one of the standard ones that comes with the servo, into the upper hole. Because again, this particular servo is not really going to draw any particular load. Now, this last piece, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find both arms. Notice one is a little longer than the other. All right. And then you're going to need to take one of the uh, servo horns, the long one. Okay, hold on one second. Sorry. This one. And you're going to need to drill, let me get this up here, two holes and then tap them out. I did not go to the very end. I was a little bit worried about it being too close, a little too thin. So I widened out the second hole from the end and then tapped that at 440. And then you can use two small quarter inch screws to, at, at this moment, doesn't matter which one, just attach the long arm to one, again, so that it's attached but not tight, since it's going to have to be able to pivot. And then attach the short arm to the other one. And this is because the servo placement is not symmetrical. So it's slightly, you know, the, the servo horn does not come into the middle. So the one arm is going to have to reach a shorter distance than the other arm. So let me go ahead and get this set up. This is one of those cases where I probably should have paused it, but I thought I could do it faster than this. Okay. So the longer arm is going to have to be reaching up here and the shorter arm is going to have to be reaching down here so what we need to do and I'll repeat that here so it's a little clearer in just a second I'm going to rotate this servo so it's currently rotated as far as it'll go clockwise and what I want to do is I want to get this ear in a nice upright position okay so I'm going to attach a screw here, and then, oh, I put it on the wrong side. All right, this is a case of trying to rush. Let me pause this, correct it, and I'll explain what I just Okay, so this is worthy of explaining. What I did originally there was not right. Let's see if I can get this to focus on here. Um, I had the screw heads on this side, okay? Notice now that the, come on, focus in there. Notice that the, there we go, ah, screw heads, okay, are on the same side as the hub, all right? Because it's going to have to be able to reach behind it. And what we don't want it to do, I have the servo currently rotated as far clockwise as it'll go, all right? So what we want to do is we want to have this, get this angle right. I want this guy angled in such a way that when I push it on here, it will have pulled as far in this direction as it can. All right, see that? It can go no farther. And this should line up with that ear and make it stick perfectly straight up. And the shorter one should line up with this ear and make it stand up. I wish I could get that focus better. Okay, so as the servo turns, it will push both of these ears down. Let me go ahead and attach it and I'll show you. 
Okay, so in much the same way as the uh, servo that controlled the upper lip, this one has uh, a similar issue where you have to try to make sure it, it doesn't bind up. So I have the servo rotated as far as I possibly can clockwise. And then what you do is you take and you bring the ears all the way up to the upright position. Get them kind of squared away, which is hard to do. And then push it on like so. All right. I openly admit getting that center screw on is a drag. Uh, it might actually work out better to put this ear assembly on before you put the eyes on. I haven't really played with it. But it also doesn't really put much binding force on it. So I, I haven't had any issue with the thing popping off. So I usually just let it sit like that and everything is good. So there you go. That's how you assemble the, uh, the printable ESRA. And in my next set of videos, I'll show you how to make it go. So I will see you again soon.